Welcome to the second YouTube video done by the All Black fan page. My name's Max, and this evening I'm going to be running through who the best loose head prop in New Zealand is. So currently in the squad we have Joe Moody at 32 years old, Carl Tuinukawafi and Alex Hodgman at 27 years old, and recently called in as Moody's injury cover was George Bower at 28 years old. George Bow is uncapped and he appears to be the fourth choice as far as we can see. Now it's a bit of a conundrum because Artu Molly, who I believe is 25 years old, is currently injured. And so because these four guys are the ones currently in the squad, I'm thinking maybe the All Blacks are a wee bit thin at depth in regard to loose head prop. So I'm going to be running through all the statistics I've collected for these guys throughout Super Rugby. Not the tests because obviously we've only had two so far. And I'm also going to take into account games played before lockdown began. Because all four of these guys did play prior to New Zealand's national lockdown. So a big important thing about props of course is scrummaging. All of these guys can scrum. Personally, I'd rate Tawino Kawafi as the best scrummager in New Zealand, but I was unfortunately unable to find any scrum stats for any of these guys, so we're just going to have to roll with the stats that I've got from these guys from around the field. Stats were retrieved from the Rugby Parts Index once again. Down in the description, you can find them. So I'm going to start off by talking about the games they've played. So Moody played 10 games for the Crusaders in 2020, then Tuina Kawafi played 9 games for the Blues, Hodgman 8 games for the Blues, and George Boa played 13 games for the Crusaders, so Boa was getting quite a bit more minutes than the other guys, so we'll just have to remember that Boa did play a wee bit more than the other guys. Now we're going to move on to their attacking statistics. So Moody scored 1 try, Tui Nukuafi scored one, and Boa and Hodgman did not score any tries for their Super Rugby teams this year. Now we're going to go over the meters and the runs that they've made. So Joe Moody made 62 meters from 34 runs for an average gain rather of 1.8 meters. Tui Nukuafi made 61 meters off 31 runs. Got my wee sheet over here. Um, anyway, Alex Hodgman made only 27 meters, so he's dead last for that off 38 runs for an average gain of 0.7 meters and George Boa finally he made a total of 72 meters off 42 runs for an average gain of 1.7 meters so Carl Tuinukawafi is making quite a few meters although he didn't play as many minutes as the other guys because he was injured for a wee bit. Defenders beaten Moody Props don't often run the ball, we've got to be fair, so we can't think too overly critically about the attacking stats, but when it comes to attacks, um, I believe Moody is probably the best because he beat three defenders this year, whereas Tuina Kawafi and Boa did not beat any defenders in Super Rugby, whereas Hodgman only beat one. Clean breaks, Moody and Boa each made a clean break which is possibly off the forwards game plan that the Crusaders have through Jason Ryan. He's stripping a bit of fat off these guys so that way they can be a bit more mobile and support the other positions, whereas for clean breaks, Tuina Kawafi and Hodgman did not make any. For passes, Moody made 10 passes, Tuina Kawafi made 11, Hodgman made 7, so he's last again, and Boa made 13 passes. So overall, these guys are probably passing a bit more than you would suspect for loose head props. Props aren't really the kind of guys to pass. They're always just going to crash the ball up, smack into a number eight, and then be done with it. But these guys, they're actually passing a fair bit. So to all four of these guys, we got to give them a wee bit of credit, actually. For try assists... Um, I'm not sure if this is true. I was I was double checking from a few other sources, but Moody he genuinely made three try assists, whereas the other three props they only made one each. So based on all the statistics that I've covered over here on my wee sheet and handwriting that you can't read, I'm gonna say that Moody is probably the best attacking prop out of all these loose heads. Now we're gonna move on to defense. Defense is a massive part of being a forward. I used to play at prop number eight flanker. I was a forward for 
quite a bit when I was at high school, so yeah, it's pretty important. I know that from experience, even though I definitely wasn't the sharpest. So we're going to take in these guys' tackle percentages. So Moody made 82% of his tackles, so in total he made 71 tackles, but he missed 16. Tui Nukawafi wasn't as good as Moody in regard to tackling. Um, he made 40 fewer tackles. He made 31 tackles and missed 8. Meanwhile, Hodgman, that is amazing. 91% of his tackles, you've got to give Hodgman credit. He only made 3 fewer tackles than Moody. Moody is the top tackler out of all these in regard to the amount. But at the end of the day, Hodgman made 91%, 68 tackles with 7 misses. And Boa, he's a dead last in regard to tackle percentage. He got 77%, and he also only made 46 tackles, and he missed 14. Turnovers, though, that's when things start to reverse a bit for Boa. So George Boa, he actually made uh, two turnovers. Alex Hodgman won the most turnovers of these guys with three, whereas Tui Nukawafi and Moody did not make any. And turnovers conceded... Moody conceded two turnovers throughout the season, whereas the other three guys all conceded one each. So from defense, you could definitely say with a good solid conclusion that Alex Hodgman is the superior defender out of all these four loose head props. And finally, I've got just the amount of penalties that these guys have conceded. So Moody, he conceded seven penalties, as did Tui Nukawafi. Then Alex Hodgman only conceded one penalty. That is amazing. That is brilliant. And to concede one penalty throughout your Super Rugby season as a tight five forward is a genuine rarity nowadays. So I think we've found a gem in Alex Hodgman this season. And George Boa only conceded two. So top effort for Boa. And good stuff, mate. Now that we've run over all these statistics about these front rowers... I'm going to say that um, I'm not sure these four guys are the four to go forward with. Um, I think that because of their ages, it's best to give some younger guys a go. Some young guys that I would like to see have a go at loose head props um, are Tavita Mafaleo from the Hurricanes, Pauli Rakiti Stones from the Hurricanes, and of course Harry Allen at the Crusaders, who actually unfortunately didn't play for the Crusaders this year because Moody and Boa were playing so well, but these three guys can all scrum amazingly, and of course they can get around the park as well, as props nowadays do need to be a bit more mobile, and I think we've kind of understood that through all the statistics about these four guys, that props are getting a bit more mobile. So in regard to selections, I'm thinking that if Alex Hodgman continues to play in the way he's playing right now, for the All Blacks that is, if he continues this form, I think start starting him and then stick with him provide he doesn't get injured, because that's probably the best option for the All Blacks going forward. Tui Nukawafi, obviously, is the heaviest player in the squad at 135 kgs. He possibly needs to trim down a wee bit more so he can get a bit more mobile and, you know, stay in the ranks and compete with these guys because once Atu Molly's back, there's going to be a wee bit more mobility covered in the squad. George Boa, I'd like to see him get a cap, but I'm unsure because he's 28 years old if he's going to play many tests. Moody, of course, has done a great job for the All Blacks. He's about to reach 50 tests. So it's great to have that experience at the start of a World Cup cycle. So personally, I'm going to say that Alex Hodgman is the best loose head prop in New Zealand based on what he does around the field. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And make sure to check out our Instagram account. Support us over on Patreon. Jump down there to give us a like and subscribe. And I will see you guys later.